okay i want to show one advanced example in uh, logo um, <coughs> so the first one i want to try is uh, uh, recursion and i want to draw uh, every node i want to draw 60 degrees that way and 60 degrees that way so we want to do this 10 level deep meaning start from zero here this is one that's uh, one level deep two level deep here that's one level deep that's a two level deep right so again here also do the same thing 60 degrees that's 60 degrees that's 60 degrees um, that's 60 degrees so do the same thing at every point so this is a depth level three right and depth level uh, four so on so like this okay so yeah so specified number of levels is what i want to do okay so we can use the recursion to achieve this one and uh, so so how can we do it in logo well this is a this requires recursion because every node we are trying to do the um, trying to kind of go in two directions right so before going there let me show you uh, ignore this program for now uh, so that is the logos uh, site i'm using um, www c a l o r m e n dot com slash logo that's the site i'm using by the way okay so logo uses this interesting uh, short commands to get things done let me get rid of all this okay so we are going to define a kind of function draw pattern and it's going to accept one variable level okay okay so depth level uh, it's accepting and also let's see i think we may need one variable outside ah that's okay we'll just continue here um well basically i can count down i guess okay so here we want to do make level level minus one so you're reducing the level so i'm just kind of going to count down from uh, number whatever number user specifies okay then here if statement if level if level is uh, yeah if level is greater than zero right so greater than or i don't know that accepts greater than or equal to but uh, well i guess we can try if level is greater than or equal to zero and then we want to do that extra steps what are the extra steps we are moving forward 50 right so that's a forward fd is the forward uh, maybe i should have kept in uppercase you know it's probably easier to see anyway so forward then after moving forward then draw the, the left turn 60 degrees is that 60 degrees yeah left turn 60 degrees and the draw pattern we are going to invoke the invoke the function again right turn 60 degrees and the right turn 60 degrees again we could have written as a right turn 120 of course draw pattern level and left turn 60 degrees and backward 
I believe it's a BK backward backward 50 what am I doing here well let me explain using a diagram start here forward 50 okay that's a forward 50 now we are here left turn 60 degrees so instead of facing here I'm facing this way now and draw pattern level the new level see so I am going to go this way and hopefully draw whatever I want and then I come back to this point okay so then come back then we do right turn uh, 60 degrees that will again go back to the straight line one more right turn that will be facing this way right so it will be facing this way now and now I invoke the draw pattern to finish this uh, this side drawing and then come back left turn uh, uh, left turn 60 now I am again facing this way right and uh, then from here I go back here okay um, let, let me try to explain once more okay so if we are totally we facing this way moving 50 so forward 50 here and then left turn 60 degrees so so instead of facing this way it's more it's a left turn 60 degrees so now we are facing this way right we were here we are facing this way we are facing this way now right so then draw pattern so continue in this direction draw the pattern whatever pattern you know whatever love depth levels we have to do finish all that then come back basically come back here now still still we are facing that up right so we have to do right turn you know reverse of whatever we did reverse of that 60 degree left turn so do right turn so now we are facing again this way see so one more right turn 60 degrees now we will face this way right now we will face this way now do the draw pattern this side you know invoke the draw pattern so remaining levels and then come back and do the left turn 60 degrees and go and left turn again we are facing this way back to facing this way then backwards 50 you come back to this point you know so you basically from here from here and you go back here basically right so that's what we are doing here so so we are done with that of that done with that function and uh, uh, end end and uh, usually turtle voices up so let's do the clear screen right turn 90 degrees so that you can face the right side now draw pattern 5 let's say ready well wow. Um, so less than or equal to also works that's where greater than or equal to also works that's good so how do we know whether this is working correctly let's do the draw pattern one okay that's a draw pattern one one level deep two level deep three level deep one two three one two three one two three one two three see and four level deep one two three four see right so you get a kind of honeycomb type of picture see so six it may result in drawing the same lines few times that's okay okay so pretty nice picture isn't it Oh, this guy is also kind of do this weird things I didn't expect them to do anyway so let's see what happens yeah oh, okay that kind of behaves like scratch okay so let's stick to seven maybe okay so maybe I shouldn't do right turn let's without right turn let's see what happens 
there you go because it's facing this way it's drawing a lot more that way anyway so that's a different thing but uh, bottom line is this program is working as expected see okay so that is one version of the program i wanted to cover um, let me store this program right so this program kind of draws this pattern that many levels deep you know so the key thing to notice here is the draw pattern is invoked by from draw pattern itself that's that's what is a recursion okay so that's uh, the function we defined is invoked by the uh, the same function itself is invoking itself right with a new uh, level of course okay okay so now I want to do some random pattern, randomize this one, you know, so I'm not too worried about number of levels, rather I want to kind of randomly some probability I want to go this way, some probability I want to go this way, same thing on every step, right? So every, my idea is that every time you'll get a different pattern, okay? So I really don't need a level, I'm just going to modify this program this time, okay? I don't really need a level, so I can get rid of that, and I can even get rid of this, and uh, then how do we do that? Well, um, once you enter a draw pattern, we do forward uh, 90, minor forward 50, I should have done this earlier. Uh, hopefully you can see that much better this time so <clears throat> then for randomly I want to go um, go in uh, each direction so for that I am going to not variable make random value make random so I'm going to use a pre-built function random 10 so I believe that will give you a 0 to 10 any random value then I'm going to check if random is less than 5 okay so if the, this is uh, less than 5 I am going to do this okay so then I'm going to do the exactly repeat the whole thing again so randomly I will go left randomly I will go right you know so with some probability okay some probability I'll go left some probability I'll go left right okay so I am generating the random number again and uh, okay move forward Generate a random number. If that random number is less than five, you know, random, generate a random number between zero and ten. Um, if it's less than five, I'll go left side and do the draw the pattern, and uh, then come back and get another random number. Generate another random number. Go right side. If that random number uh, is less than five, I will go right side and uh, draw the pattern again. Uh, we don't need level and all that anymore, right? But it will be a error. See, if I run it to say, don't know what to do with the level. So, get rid of that. Draw pattern. Let's see. Whoa. See, so this time, for example, I'm just click, keep on clicking run. This side didn't go, this side it's drawing, see. So at this point, uh, it both of the probabilities failed. And here also it failed, here failed, here failed, and so on, okay. So every time when you draw, you're going to get a kind of interesting different pattern. Wow, so that uh, uh, too many times it went through. So... See, so this time, see, it went this way and uh, finished that. So it, then it came down this way, drawing this way, from here drawing this way, drawing this way. Who knows, we might have even come around second time. Anyway, so so you can see, uh, they kind of part of the honeycomb in a sense, right? 
Um, see, now we are not relying on uh, depth level, rather we are relying on this randomness to stop us. That's why sometimes you get a huge structure, right? So this time it going like this, going around and stopping, see. See, look at that. You know, so once it crosses few levels down, so then you will get a big picture. The reason is that there are too many branches that any branch just takes off, you will get a big picture. So either you get a kind of reasonable small picture or you get a really huge picture, see, like this. So to understand that, probably uh, you have to look into the math, you know, so I'm not going to go through that. Whoa. Um, so the bottom line is every time when you press, uh, it's going to give you a different picture. Uh, if you think that's too much, you can make this random less than four. Remember, still there is no guarantee that you will get a small picture. You know? At times you may be able to get a big picture. But you can see now it's quite a bit small, small uh, picture. See? Now, now and then you still manage to get this big piece. So every time when you press, uh, you get a different picture. Okay, I'm going to store this as well. So that was the old program and this is the... Yeah, that was okay. That was the old program, and this is the new program, right? So again, uh, how do we explain this? We are drawing a pattern. Go forward and make a random number. If the random number is uh, satisfies our condition, then you go to the left and uh, invoke the draw pattern again, and come back and fix your uh, angle and then generate another random number and if it satisfies go to the right and draw the same thing and come back then go back you know whatever we move forward backwards so that uh, it moves back to the position where it started the, when it started this uh, draft pattern okay so after that uh, that's the score that in works clear screen right turn 90 degrees and draw pattern so okay so hopefully uh, he enjoyed this uh, little bit complicated recursive example okay let's look for one nice pattern and we'll stop wow <laughs> either you get really small or you get really huge why don't we change this to five now if you get six or something, if you put six, it will be always huge structure. And once you hit the side, this guy kind of goes crazy. And uh, see, even at the five, you tend to get a big picture. Mm, so it's it's reflecting. Looks like it, it, it rather not reflecting. It's coming around basically. See, it's uh, um, this portion above this. It's drawing here. So. Uh, I was looking for some nice picture. Um, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, I'll stop here and uh, hopefully you will play with this and do something more. Good luck.